Hi guys, this is Raghav here from Headphone Zone. Today's video is all about DACs, digital to analog converters. And in the world of DACs, you can get some gorgeous DACs that honestly take up a lot of space, like some of the ones that we have behind you. Or you have portable DACs, DACs that you can pretty much plug into your mobile phone and convert it to a high-res audio player that sounds of the highest quality that you can use to listen to your headphones or IEMs. Portable DACs are the way to listen to music when you're on the go and you want to stream music on your phone, but make sure that you're listening to music at the highest quality that you would get on some of the finest DACs anywhere in the world. Now, we have so many portable DACs that are now available to us in India at virtually every price point and sometimes gets a little confusing to know which is the right one for you. So what we thought we'd do is we do a very interesting video specifically talking about the best portable DACs at every price point so that you're able to pick one that's right for you to use along with your headphones or your IEMs. Let's get to it. Starting off with what is currently our single most popular portable DAC that you can use on the go. This is all the way from South Korea, the Astil and Kern XB10. For those of you who aren't familiar with Astil and Kern, they're pretty much like the Ferrari of the headphone world. You, they make some of the finest high-res audio players out there in the world. And the XP10 is their entry-level portable DAC that uses Astil and Kern's signature design, philosophy and branding and applies it to a portable, affordable device that's meant for everyone. Now, the XP10 is a Bluetooth dongle DAC. So this adds another level of convenience to your DAC. So you can pair it along with your mobile phone using Bluetooth and you're able to listen to music when you're on the go wirelessly. And your wired IEMs go into the 3.5 mm unbalanced output on this DAC and you can clip it onto your shirt or you can carry it with you anywhere you go. And it also has a 2.5 millimeter balanced output if you're someone who wants to use the balanced upgrade cables for your IEMs. The balanced output does make a big difference to the sound, so I highly recommend that you do. Now, why is this the most popular portable DAC on our list? On, of all the DACs that we have, the XB10 outsells everything. And that's because of the price. It's priced at just rupees 2,999 rupees. And for less than 3,000 rupees, this is the easiest way for you to listen to high resolution music on the go with a nice IEM. So I highly recommend it to virtually everyone who's starting out in the hobby. For the budget, you get uh, the convenience of Bluetooth, the promise of Astil & Kern's high res sound quality, and you have a 2.5 mm balanced output, which is unheard of for you to be able to listen to music on the go. So that, ladies and gentlemen, makes the XB10 my first recommendation for the best portable dongle DAX for less than 3,000 rupees. All right, coming up next for just over 4,000 rupees is this tiny little device that I'm holding in my hand, which connects to your phone via USB. This is the Shanling UA1S. This is a wired dongle DAC. It has a 3.5 millimeter unbalanced output. And for 4,000 rupees, it's probably the first dongle DAC that I genuinely think makes a big difference to your sound quality when you're using it along with your smartphone. You can use this with virtually any IEM out there and you can instantly hear the difference. Now, why would I recommend this over the Bluetooth XP10? Because Bluetooth is just fine if you're listening to a streaming service like Spotify or Apple Music. But the minute you're listening to high resolution music, Bluetooth is simply not going to be able to do it justice. There is a certain amount of loss in quality that comes in with Bluetooth and using it with something like the UA1S, which connects to your smartphone via USB, ensures that there's absolutely no loss in quality. It gives you almost perfect output with high resolution files and you will find that it's an absolute must have if you're someone who's listening to music at high quality. Now, with a little bit more, you get to what is one of my favorite dongle DACs, which is for just under 5,000 rupees. This is the iFi Audio Go Link. 
It doesn't have the detachable cable that the Shanling has, but what it does have is a very convenient adapter to use it with USB-C as well as Lightning. So if you're someone who has an iPhone, you don't have to go and get one of those expensive Lightning to USB dongles. You can simply use the one that comes along with the iFi Go link in the box. So this is the cheapest dongle that we have in our selection that is perfectly compatible with Android and iOS. Now, the reason I recommend this is for under 5,000 rupees, it is easily the nicest sounding DAC. It makes virtually all your IEMs sound super clean, super smooth and more musical. It's hard to describe the sound except to say that it makes everything sound better. And for 5,000 rupees, it's an absolute no-brainer. iFi Audio is, makes a beautiful product at all prices, but this is the cheapest way to improving your sound quality with an iFi Audio DAC. A very similar segment a slightly more premium product, but one that I think absolutely deserves mention in our list is the iBaso DC03 Pro from China. iBaso, again, another really nice chai fi brand, makes some excellent high-end premium products. The DC03 Pro is the third iteration of the very famous dongle DAC lineup. We made some YouTube videos in the past as well talking about the iBaso DACs. The DC03 Pro is their newest version. It's a far superior product than the other ones that I've spoken to right now. It's got these really nice tempered glass front and back panels, gives it a super premium look. Unlike everything else on our list, this also has physical buttons that you can use to increase and decrease volume. It comes with a 3.5 mm unbalanced output, but it uses some of the nicest DAC chips you can get at this price point. So it gives you a super clean, super analytical sound. And it's one of those devices that you pay a little bit more, but you get a lot more. I believe it's priced at about 6,500 rupees. And for the price, I have to say, it is the best DAC in this segment from a features, design, and sound point of view. Now, the next segment is a very, very popular segment of DACs, which are just under 8,000 rupees. What you get by spending this little bit more money is very, very importantly, a 4.4 mm balanced output that is available on these DACs along with the standard 3.5 mm unbalanced output. Now, what difference does the 4.4 mm balanced output make? One, it gives an independent channel for left and right. So you'll find that the separation between both of these channels improves quite a bit. The amount of power that's available to your headphones, both for the left and right channel, improves quite a bit. And therefore, on most IEMs, you'll find that the bass becomes a little tighter. So, if your IEMs and headphones have the option of using a 4.4 mm balanced cable, it's almost without exception a rule that you should get a DAC which has a 4.4 mm balanced output to take advantage of that. Consequently, if you have a DAC which has a 4.4 mm balanced output, don't forget to change and upgrade your cables to use balanced cables that take advantage of that. Now, we've got three DACs which I have to talk about in this segment, all of which have the 4.4 mm balanced output alongside the 3.5 mm output that is there on all the standard DACs. To start with, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite DACs with a 4.4 mm balanced output, the very affordable Shanling UA2 Plus. This is super slim, super thin, considering it has a 4.4 mm output, which is sometimes a little fat. This is super, super portable, comes with a detachable cable so you can plug in lightning or USB-C and use it on the go. Gives you a very clean, balanced output. So if you're someone who wants to get a taste of what difference the 4.4 mm balanced output makes, this is the device to start with. Shanling has the big brother to the UA2 Plus that's only slightly more expensive, which is the UA3. Now, this is a little fatter, so it's not as portable as the UA2 Plus, but what it gives you is physical buttons to increase and decrease volume, play and pause, an inbuilt microphone that you can use to pick up and drop calls, and very importantly, a lot more power. So if you're someone who's going to be using full-sized headphones, like an Audio Technica M50X and Hi-Fi Man HE400, maybe even a Meze 99 Classics, I would recommend you get the UA3 because the little extra power makes a lot of difference. Speaking of power, the most powerful DAC in this segment comes from another Chinese brand and one of our favorites, 
Fio. Fio KA3 is very similar to the other two DACs I spoke about from Shandling. There is some really nice design improvements. For example, it comes with a very nice LED light, which indicates what the bit rate and sample rate of the file you're listening to is. So it immediately tells you when you're starting to listening to some of the high res files or a DSD file, the light itself gives you that. So I really like that. I think a DAC should tell you when you're listening to high res music. The 4.4 mm balanced output on this is a lot more powerful. So I highly recommend that if you're wanting to get a more power specifically that you would need with headphones, the KA3, just like the Shandling UA3 is very, very powerful for the price and the one that you should probably go for. I really like the fact that Fio also comes with its own app. You'll find that sometimes a lot of dongle DACs could use advantage of an app and the fact that Fio has one is helpful. All right, let's assume you want the same level of performance, the same DAC chips, the same amount of output power. But with the added convenience of Bluetooth, you're going to have to upgrade your budget to about 15,000 rupees because at 15,000 rupees, you have two phenomenal portable DACs that I really, really like. The very, very popular Fio BTR7 which is just a phenomenal Bluetooth dongle DAC that you can use. You will find that it pairs along with virtually all your devices using the Bluetooth codecs. It has Aptex HD, LDAC, a 4.4 mm balanced output that's super powerful, a 3.5 mm balanced output that's super clean, and using the same DAC chips that you're seeing in some of the dongle DACs at a cheaper price point. So they sound very, very good, but now you can use it on the go, everywhere you want and wirelessly along with Bluetooth. It supports MQA, so you'll find that if you're listening to music on Tidal, this does a great job decoding that. It has a THX amplifier, which makes sure that it's really nice and clean and powerful. There's nothing not to like about the BTR7. It's easily one of the most popular products of this price segment, and for good reason. Shandling's answer to the BTR7 is the Shandling UP5. Slightly more compact, a little bit more user friendly and has a 2.5 and a 4.4 mm balanced output. So if you're someone who has some IEMs which have a 2.5 jack and some headphones which has a 4.4 jack, you'll find that something like the UP5 gives you the flexibility of having all the possible outputs that you want. 3.5 unbalanced, 4.4 or 2.5 mm balanced. Super powerful, supports all the formats which are out there, comes with a very nice leather carry case that you can clip onto your belt and you'll find that it's capable of driving all your headphones and IEMs effortlessly. For 15,000 rupees, both of these two Bluetooth portable DACs, I have to say, give you phenomenal value for money if you're someone who values the convenience. Here's another product for 15,000 rupees, which I think is just a phenomenal, phenomenal DAC, but very different from the Shandling and the Fio I just spoke about. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the beautiful iFi Audio Hip DAC. Aptly named because it looks just like a hip flask, but as a DAC, you don't get a more powerful and better sounding DAC at this price point. Now, this does not have Bluetooth, it's meant to be used along with your smartphone using USB or using a lightning adapter that you'd have to buy separately. But unlike a lot of the dongles that we have seen until now, this has its own inbuilt battery. Now, dongles normally don't have an inbuilt battery. It draws power from your smartphone that it uses to power your headphone or your IEM. So yes, you'll find that it drains your battery life relatively fast. And two, it's not very powerful because if it's going to add a lot more power, it'll drain your battery really, really quickly. The hip back to solves that because it comes with its own inbuilt battery that you will have to charge separately. So yes, now you have to charge a separate device, but the advantage is that it's able to power even full-sized headphones quite effortlessly. It's got enough output power that, of course, all your IEMs are going to sound phenomenal, but even full-sized open-back headphones, most of them at least, should sound decent along with the hip DAC too. It has a 4.4 mm balanced output that I've used along with headphones like the Hi-Fi Man Sundara, the Meze 99 Classics, and it sounds quite nice. It gives you a lot of power that normal dongle DACs can't. It 
It also has two very interesting features, the power match, which allows you to lower the noise flow so that sensitive IEMs don't have any kind of a hiss and hum. And two, a very popular feature called the X bass button, which does exactly what it says, adds a little bit more bass to make your headphones sound a little bit more fun. So all the iFi DAX here onwards have that feature. So you'll find that it's very, very popular with people who want to be able to add that little low end. A little bit more money for 16 and a half thousand rupees you have this DAC which is a relatively new entrant from Moondrop. This is the Moon River 2. I see a lot of people who really like listening to the Moondrop IEMs especially between the 20 and 30 thousand rupee price point like the Blessing 2. It's such a popular IEM. It sounds phenomenal and for good reason. It's just one of the best IEMs at the price segment. The Moon River 2 is really a companion DAC for people who love their Moondrop IEMs and want a Moondrop DAC. This is the flagship DAC from Moondrop. Has a 4.4 mm balanced output, a 3.5 mm unbalanced output. Looks a little funny, but it's very lightweight, very portable and comes with a detachable cable so you can pair it along with your smartphone. Super clean, super analytical sound. So even though you're paying 16 and a half thousand rupees, I still believe you're getting good value for money for it. The best portable DAX for under 20,000 rupees. Now at this segment, I've got two very, very interesting DAX, both of which I really, really like. The first is the incredible Kayan RU6. This is easily one of the most popular DAX at this price segment. And let me tell you a little bit about them. Kayan is a really nice hi-fi company from China. They make some outstanding products. But the fact is that kayan has been able to take that technology and implement it something that's smaller than a thumb drive. That's incredible. This has an R2R DAC inside it. I mean, I still have to ask myself how they made that possible. But the fact is that because of it, the RU6 sounds unlike any other DAC that we have in this segment or close by even. It's got a very vintage organic sound, makes it sound very nice and warm, but still very detailed. It brings out things in the music that you wouldn't normally hear on any other DAC, but doesn't sound very clinical, doesn't sound very digital. In fact, just the opposite. And for that reason, the RU6 is a very, very, very popular DAC that a lot of people who have balanced armature driver IEMs really like because it really tonally balances it out. It takes a very analytical IEM to balance it out with an R2R DAC and the output is a beautiful listening experience that's unlike anything else. The RU6 comes with a whole bunch of buttons, comes with a bunch of filters that you can use, a 3.5mm unbalanced output and a 4.4mm balanced output that I know a lot of people really, really like using. For that reason, the RU6 is probably the most popular dongle DAC for under 20,000 rupees and it's just incredible what you get for the price. Now, the other alternative is from the modern Delta Sigma DAC school of thought and the best DAC that you can get from that point of view is this, the Shandling UA5. This is the flagship portable dongle DAC from Shandling. They've literally got one at every price point. The UA5 is the top of the line. This has a really nice battery inside. So just like the hip DAC 2, it doesn't drop battery from your mobile phone and it's able to power virtually all the IEMs and some full size headphones effortlessly. It's got a multifunction jog wheel that I really like playing around with, a really tiny display, which is really nice. But unlike a lot of other devices that have a display and have a multifunction wheel and have an inbuilt battery, this is still super, super thin and portable. Something that you can fit in your pocket, something you can use with your IEMs and only for that reason I think that this is amongst the best tax for under 20,000 rupees that you can get especially if you're someone who doesn't want that vintage old school R2R sound and you want something that complements a warm sounding IEM by adding a lot more detail and power that's the Shandling UA5 guys. All right, guys, now we get to some of the more expensive DACs on our list, but some of the really nice ones that I personally really, really enjoy. So I'm going to really talk about these and why I think that they're absolutely phenomenal. The first up is one of my favorite DACs of all time, the Cord Electronics Mojo 2. I've been using a Cord Electronics Mojo now for the last six or seven years. First, the Mojo 1, and last year I upgraded myself to the Cord Electronics Mojo 2. 
It's absolutely beautiful. It's meant to be used along with your mobile phone, something you can use on the go. Now, how Cord Electronics is different from everybody else is that they don't just go out there and buy an off-the-shelf DAC chip from one of the many DAC manufacturers and stick it into their product. They actually design and program their own DACs all by themselves using a technology called FPGA. FPGA DACs are a lot more complicated, but all the DACs are programmed by a genius of the industry, Mr. Rob Watts, who has also applied all of his learnings over the decades, making super high-end DACs into the Mojo 2. It's very hard to describe what the Mojo 2 does to sound, but it just makes everything sound better to a degree that you cannot get from anything at this price point. You'll find that instruments sound more believable, more organic. Music just sounds like it's coming from wider. The bass becomes a lot more tighter and believable. The airiness just becomes a lot more exciting. That's what the Mojo 2 does and you can probably tell that I really like the way that this sounds. Now, there are not too many bells and whistles. It's a very simple device. It connects to your phone or laptop via USB. It also has a coaxial and an optical input that it can take. So you can even use this along with some hi-fi setups. And it simply has two 3.5 mm unbalanced outputs. Nothing else, nothing else. And it still sounds fantastic. And that's saying something, guys. So for 44,000 rupees, I truly believe the Cord Mojo 2 is still phenomenal value for money, even though it's one of the more expensive products on this list. I truly believe for less than 50,000 rupees, whether you're using full-sized headphones or you're using IEMs, this is probably one of the best products to go for. Now, Cord Electronics also has a very interesting add-on for this, which is called the Poly. The Poly is a streamer that quite literally converts your Mojo 2 into a high res player that you can pair along with any device and use it as a streamer so it gets lossless music. You can use it along with Rune and it makes it completely wireless. The problem is that the Poly costs another 40,000 rupees and so it's quite an expensive bargain to take the Mojo 2 and make it wireless. But what it also allows you to do is now make this into a dedicated source that you can even use with your hi-fi speakers at home. One of the things that I love about the Mojo 2 that I have to mention about before we end this video is that it comes with really nice parametric EQ. So you'll find that these buttons allow you to tweak the sound signature up a little bit, increase the bass, tighten the treble a little bit. And even though the changes might seem very, very subtle, this is probably one of the only DACs that I would actually use the EQ on because it makes it so much more fun to listen to and it allows you to customize the sound to your taste. For just under 50,000 rupees, the other product that I have to talk about for sure is the iFi Audio XDSD Griffin. This is an absolute beast of a DAC. Using flagship DACs from Burr Brown, you'll find that this also sounds absolutely phenomenal. But unlike the Mojo 2, this has all the bells and whistles and features that you could have asked for from any portable DAC. It has that. One, it has Bluetooth, supports all the high-res Bluetooth formats like Aptex HD, LDAC. So you're listening to music at some of the highest quality, even the convenience of Bluetooth available. It also does wired mode. You find that it has multiple inputs and outputs puts everything from lightning to coaxial that has a balanced 4.4 mm output an unbalanced 3.5 mm output the x base the x space feature all of which go into tu tuning the sound a little bit based on what you like normally something like this would be very 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 hard to carry around if you don't you know uh, have a lot of space but you'll find that the xdsd griffin makes the size and weight worth its while because it can drive anything you throw at it. You'll find that it sounds almost effortless with even full-sized headphones, even expensive planar magnetic headphones using the 4.4 mm balanced output. Something like this drives it just fine. So I've seen a lot of people using the XDSD Griffin specifically to use full-sized headphones at home, especially if they don't want to be sitting on a desk locked into a desktop amplifier. The XDSD is one way of doing it, and therefore it makes it onto our list for one of the best portable DACs for under 50,000 rupees. All right, guys. Now to end this video, we're going to talk about the best portable DAC that money can buy, Price No Bar. And it gets me to a very, very interesting product. And don't say I didn't warn you. 
This is the Cord Electronics Hugo 2 priced at 1,89,000 rupees. Oh my God, this is absolutely phenomenal. The price is going to raise a lot of eyebrows. You have to ask yourself, why is, is this so expensive for a portable DAC that you can use on the go? And the answer is because it simply is the best DAC that money can buy that is also portable. It's, don't get me wrong, a desktop grade DAC and a headphone amp in virtually every respect. The Cord Electronics Hugo and now the Hugo 2 have been absolute pioneers of the industry. Nobody will argue with you when you say that this is the best way to be listening to a headphone, no matter which headphone you throw at it, at any price point, it sounds amazing with the Hugo 2. I have seen people use this along with flagship headphones like the Focal Stelia, a close back headphone, like the Dan Clark Audio Stealth, a close back headphone, even something like an Odyssey LCD 5, which is an open back headphone. The Hugo 2 makes them all sound absolutely phenomenal. If you're someone who's listening to headphones or IEMs at that level, at that price segment, some of the finest headphones made you'll find that the Hugo 2 does an effortless job of driving them. It uses a DAC chip, which you would typically find on desktop DACs like the Hugo TT, brought down into a super compact form factor. It has two independent batteries that separate out the circuitry for the DAC as well as the power output on this. And to add to it, you also have analog outputs from RCA ports. You have digital inputs with optical and coaxial along with an unbalanced 3.5 and a 6.35 mm headphone output. What that should tell you is that somebody thought that this device is good enough to be used as a desktop DAC along with hi-fi stereo speakers. And it is. The fact that it gives you these analog outputs should tell you that. You'll also find that it supports Bluetooth and Aptex HD, so you can even use this wirelessly if you should want to. But if you really want to add to the streaming capabilities of the Hugo 2 and simply use it as a desktop streamer, you will have to get yourself something called the 2Go from Cord Electronics, which will cost you an additional 1 lakh rupees, but then makes it a complete streamer as well as a DAC and an amp all in one. Oh my God, that's a mouthful guys, but needless to say, for the price, absolutely worth it. All right guys, I think I've covered a very large range of portable DACs that you can use and you can pick from different ones depending on the price point that you're looking at. A couple of things that you got to keep in mind. I think if you're looking for something that's just optimized for sound quality, using a dongle DAC that connects via lightning or USB-C with your smartphone is the best way of getting high resolution music on the go. If you would like to add an element of convenience and portability, making sure that it has Bluetooth but supports high-res codecs like Aptex HD and LDAC is important. Some of these DACs do that. If you're using it along with full-sized headphones, then look for a DAC which has its own inbuilt battery like the Hip DAC 2, the Mojo 2 and the Griffin. It makes a lot of difference if the inbuilt battery is there because you're able to give it a little bit more output power without draining your mobile phone. And for each of these price points, I hope we've been able to help you choose which is the right DAC for you. Of course, you'll find that depending on the headphone, depending on the IEM, depending on the kind of sound signature you're looking for, some of these may be better suitable than others. But a good sounding DAC always sounds good irrespective of what you pair it with. I truly believe that good sounding DACs are the right way of listening to any full-sized headphone or IEM and you'll find that it makes a world of a difference as compared to plugging it straight into your mobile phone or your laptop which is just woefully inadequate in giving you high-res music. With that, signing off and hopefully you found this video helpful. Please feel free to come by listen to any of these DACs along with your headphones and IEMs at our experience studio here in Mumbai if you're in the neighborhood. If not, we are having headphone connect events happening all across the country this year. Keep a lookout for the event that's happening closest to you and on our IEM bar you will have all of these and more to listen to with your IEMs and headphones. Come by, say hi and with that I'm signing off.